Hi, everybody, and welcome inside the gym at Thompson uh, Tompkins High School here in Katy. Sorry, we've had a few technical problems, but we are bringing you the match now between Ridge Point and Tompkins. These two teams met in the third round of the playoffs last year, and Tompkins eliminated Ridge Point, kind of returning the favor because Ridge Point had done the same thing to Tompkins several times in the past. So we are in the first game of a best of five match and Ridge Point leads it by a score of six to four. Make that six to five as Tompkins just picked up a point. This is an unusual event in that it's what they call a dual match where you have three teams present. Pearland Dawson is the other team. Pearland Dawson lost to Tompkins in five sets in the first game early this afternoon. Then Ridge Point took on Dawson and lost in three straight, 22-25, 16-25, and 21-25. So perhaps Ridge Point was looking ahead to playing Tompkins, which is the team that eliminated them from the playoffs last year. So I've kind of caught you up, except I need to tell you that it is 6-6, six to six, and now we are playing ball. Ridge Point just picks up a point, a nice play at the net by Taylor Johnson a sophomore who's getting some playing time. And now we have Cameron Coleman coming in. She's a senior. The starting lineup was Maddie Flores, the libero and setter. Kennedy Rogers, Cameron Coleman started. Then you had Lauren Battle, Carrington Cook, and Taylor Johnson. Now we resume. Ridge Point leading 7-6. And a quick attempt at a smash down the... Right side by Aaliyah Smith, returned by Tompkins, and the Falcons end up getting a point. It's now tied 7-7. Tompkins last year went to the state final, and they lost to Dripping Springs out of the Austin area. And Dripping Springs pulled off an amazing thing. Their very first year in Class 6A, they won the championship of the state, and they also have won state championships in Class 5A. Now Ridge Point responding after the serve by Tompkins. Jaden Robinson, banger won't go down, but Tompkins gets the smashing winner. That was Kaylin Dumas. Kaylin Dumas started along with Emma L. Sasser, Erica Daleski, Simi Elliott, Taylor Hines, and Kristen Cowart. Brooklyn Merrill, the daughter of the head coach, is the setter for Tompkins, and she came in as the first point began changing the lineup. Now Tompkins leading eight to seven and serving. Ridge Point trying to attack, but it's a double hit on the Ridge Point side and a point for Tompkins. They lead it by a score of nine to seven. Now typically on a Tuesday night, you see football boys come into the gym and they root hard for their team, but can you imagine how hot it must be out there if you're not playing football at this point in your life? So the Tompkins boys are in here, but they don't look real spunky. All right, Tompkins attacking with a 9-7 lead. Dumas can't get one to get down. Now Ridge Point attacking. Kennedy Rogers with a humpback spike attempt does not go down. Now Tompkins goes cross court. Matty Flores saves it. Now it's a big swing by Jaden Robinson, but Tompkins is there with the defense, and they send it back over. Dug out by Kennedy Rogers. Taylor Jory sets it up for Cameron Coleman. Now there's a whistle, and... Taylor Jory went down kind of hard, but she pops back up. And the point goes to the Falcons. I think Ridge Point committed either four hits or some other violation. And it's now 10 to 7. Tompkins on top and serving with Aileen Lang. She runs up and sends a screwball serve that Jaden Robinson, the sophomore, can't handle. Kind of look uh, like a breaking a pitch, uh, right-hander pitching to a right-handed hitter and throwing the screwball. It was kind of like that, 11-7, 11-7 Tompkins. By the way, I misidentified the server. It was Taylor Hines, and she serves again on this point. Brooklyn Merrill setting it up in a big swing. Kalen Dumas cannot get it to go down, but Ridge Point blocks it on their own side of the net. Correction. They blocked it down on the Tompkins side. So it's a point to the Panthers, and they trail 11-8. Lauren Battle comes off the bench to serve. Carrington Cook goes out. Taylor Jory is also going to come in, I believe. 
when the officials tell her it's okay. There's a delay for some reason. By the way, we're looking forward to our football coverage. You know, we'll have plenty of volleyball leading up to the 24th of August. But our very first trifecta of football games is going to be Terry taking on Clements at Hall Stadium on Thursday the 24th. The Ridgepoint Panthers hosting Austin Westlake at Mercer Stadium on Friday. And then on Saturday the 26th, it is Willow Ridge at Lamar Consolidated, that at Trailer Stadium. Ridgepoint picks up another point, and now they're down by only 11 to 9. They might have been thinking ahead to Tompkins when they had kind of a one of those efforts against Dawson where it just looked like they were one step behind. And now Cameron Coleman goes to the net and blocks one for Ridgepoint, but it flies out of bounds as it comes off her hands. And that makes it 12 to 9. Tompkins on top. And just so you have all the information you need about these three teams, Tompkins, Ridgepoint, and Dawson. Well, hold on. I'll share it with you in a moment. Brooklyn Merrill serves. Now to the middle and a big swing. Kennedy Rogers, she's blocked. Falls back on the rebound and throws it back over the net. Tompkins now attacking. Now it's on the Ridgepoint side. Lauren Battle setting it up for Carrington Cook. She goes diagonal. Brooklyn Merrill saves it. Got to get it over. Merrill with the third hit. Now it's bumped up by Rogers. And now a big swing. Cameron Coleman. She's blocked at the net by Elma L. Sasser. I'm sorry, Emma L. Sasser. Yes, Emma, a very popular name with parents of girls in the 21st century, but Elma, not so much. Emma, not Elma. And it's 13 to nine, Tompkins on top, their biggest lead in this game, Brooklyn Merrill serves. Ridgepoint bumps it up a little back set, setting it up for Jaden Robinson, cannot get it down. Lauren Battle in the back of the court now, hump back shot by Kennedy Rogers. Now it is Tompkins attacking the big swing by the left-hander, Kaylin Dumas. Ridgepoint handles it. Now Kennedy Rogers off the block at the net. It's deflected and flies out of bounds. Point to the Panthers, and they're down 13 to 10. In addition to telling you what we have in the first week of the football season, we will also give you a rundown of the volleyball matches that are coming up. Tompkins gets a point from Emma L. Sasser. She kind of mishit it, but it worked out fine for her. Tompkins leads 14 to 10, which sounds like a football score. By the way, Ridgepoint eliminated Tompkins from the football playoffs in the first round last year. With an overtime win, Mason Dossett catching a two-point conversion pass that ended it. And now there's another point for the Panthers as El Sasser goes up for Tompkins by the net and makes a nice block, but it flew sideways and out of bounds. And now Cameron Coleman goes to the baseline for Ridgepoint, and she will serve. We're in game one. Ridgepoint played earlier this evening and lost to Dawson in three sets, and the serve by Coleman goes into the net. It is 15 to 11. Tompkins matching their biggest lead. And off the bench, it is Catherine Grad, who was not a grad last year, which is why she's still on the team here in 2023. She leaps as she serves, bumped up by Kennedy Rogers. Rogers gets it back, and wow, she airmails it way past the baseline. That was about as out as a ball can be. And the lineswoman. Kind of sheepishly grinning. Yeah, I made the right call. That was a good call. It was about 50 feet too long. But fortunately for Ridgepoint, Catherine Grad's serve goes out. And it's now a four-point game again, 16 to 12. Tompkins on top. Tompkins defeated Fort Worth Keller in their semifinal match at Garland. And then they lost to Dripping Springs, otherwise known as Drip. 16 to 12, Tompkins returning serve. Big swing by Sydney Lynch, who's into the match. And she is, she is blocked at the net, but it goes out of bounds, and the point is to the Tompkins Falcons. They lead it 17 to 12. That is their new biggest lead. Now Aileen Lang is in to serve. She replaced Emma L. Sasser. Leaps as she serves, but she hits the top of the net and it falls on the Tompkins side. 
and the ball is rolling very slowly toward my table. I'm going to pick it up when it hits my hand, and I'm going to give it to Catherine Grad. And now she rolls it all the way back to the other end. So Ridge Point got that point, and now they are trailing 17 to 13. High toss by Kennedy Rogers with a sinker ball serve, but Tompkins handles it. And there's a swing by Callie Funk at the net. She's blocked by Ridge Point, and they're within three. It is 17 to 14. The block there by Jaden Robinson, very gifted sophomore. Taylor Johnson has also appeared in this game, and she is also a sophomore. Taylor Johnson and Jaden Robinson, the two youngest players on the Ridge Point team. And the serve flies out of bounds by Maddie Flores. Back to a four point lead, it's 18 to 14. And it's Erica Deleski to serve and looks over at her coach, Allison Merrill. A slight leap in the air as she tosses it up for her serve, but the bump by Ridge Point goes sideways and out of bounds and we're back to a five point game. It is 19 to 14. Tompkins got to the state finals against a Dripping Springs team that had lost 11 matches during the year, but they got hot at the right time. 1914, Tompkins attacking. Big swing by the left-hander, Kalen Dumas, but Ridge Point's going to send it back. And there is a winner by Taylor Johnson, the sophomore. Makes it a 19-15 game. And I... I misspoke earlier when Ridge Point had a fault on the serve. It was Maddie Flores. Now Flores has her turn to serve. Knuckleball comes over the net and Tompkins. Big swing, Simi Elliott. She hit it out. Kind of a miss hit as the big swing came from the tall, slender right-hander, Simi Elliott. It is 19 to 16, Flores serves, Tompkins attacking, a little tap over by Elliott. Now Tompkins has it back from the middle, big swing, Sydney Lynch, and she gets it down among some sprawling Ridge Point defenders. Kennedy Rogers got closer to it than anyone else, but it's now 20 to 16, Tompkins on top, and they send Taylor Hines out to serve. She's got compression sleeves on both arms. She looks like she's ready for, you know, one of those elegant formal events where the ladies wear the long white gloves, except she doesn't have the gloves. Waiting the go ahead from the officials, but it's timeout Ridge Point. By the way, our coverage tonight is brought to you by Xfinity, First Tire and Automotive, and Archer Volkswagen. We'll be right back. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add Now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. We're back, we're back inside the gym at Tompkins High School. The Falcons leading Ridge Point 20 to 17 and Lauren Battle in the center of the court at the far end along the baseline will serve. She gets it in the air and the return goes sideways off Taylor Hines forearm and into the stands where there are a bunch of, bunch of standing Tompkins students and Ridge Point has not been this close since very early in this game one, in fact, before we started this broadcast, we've been bedeviled by Tompkin, by uh, technical problems, and now Ridge Point gets a winner. It's the sophomore Jaden Robinson. Tompkins set her up 
accidentally they overset and now Ridge Point is within one they trail 20 to 19 Lauren Battle will serve again here comes her serve and it is just long back to a two-point margin 21 to 19 and Brooklyn Merrill will serve Simi Elliott goes to the bench for Tompkins. Here is Brooklyn Merrill serve down the left sideline, bumped by Jaden Robinson. She gets it back, tries to tap it down. Tompkins returns, and now there is a long spike. Goes out by Tompkins Point Panthers. It was Kristen Cowart who hit it long. Kristen, one of eight returnees to Tompkins volleyball squad this year it's a one point game again 21 to 20 and now here is the serve by Ridge Point Soraya Johnson Tompkins tries to send it back but Ridge Point applies the defense and now Kennedy Rogers hammers it home between blockers and it's down we are tied 21 all and now Tompkins wants a timeout we'll take it with him 21 all in the first game of this five uh, best of five match. We'll be back. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. Now Ridge Point serves, trying to get the lead for the first time in this game one. There's a little tap over by Kaylin Dumas. Cannot get it down. Ridge Point gets a fire away spike, but it's long by Soraya Johnson. Falcons back on top, 22 to 21. Soraya Johnson is a senior. Most of the players on this Ridge Point roster are seniors. There is the swing by Dumas on the serve. Keeps her feet on the floor as she delivers. And there, a little bit too gentle by Kennedy Rogers. She, instead of swinging hard on the spike, tried to tap it over and it went into the net. Ridge Point is down 23 to 21. They've climbed very nicely back into a tie, but they've dropped the last two points. And Ridge Point wants to take another timeout. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. And get Wi-Fi equipment included when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. While we were away, Ridge Point scored. They're down 23-22, and... Tompkins committed a violation the way they were lined up prior to the serve, and we are tied 23 all. Allison Merrill, the head coach of the Falcons, is up off the bench. She's upset, but the call went against her team, and now it's 23 all. And serving for Ridge Point, Emery Harper comes off the bench in this game for the first time. And there is a swing and blocked at the net. Ridge Point gets one down, and it is Taylor Johnson who blocked Emma L. Sasser, and it's 24-23 Ridge Point. They could capture game one right now. 
They've been fighting an uphill battle throughout this game. And now a little old huddle, not a timeout at the bench, but the Tompkins players are just doing their own little timeout. Okay. Tompkins students who are excited because they don't have school until the 15th of August. Dawson, by the way, doesn't have uh, school tomorrow either. But Ridgepoint does, and so does everybody else in Fort Bend ISD. I'm really not sure what the delay is, although one of the officials is over at the scorer's table. They might be trying to make sure that they have the right score. You know, that's pretty important. But the scoreboard says 24-23 Ridgepoint, and now the Panthers looks like we are ready to resume. Emery Harper to serve. It's in the air. Tompkins, Brooklyn Merrill bumps it. Now Dumas back, sets it for Kristen Cowart, sends it over the Ridgepoint side, and now Kennedy Rogers, big swing, gets it down. And Ridgepoint captures game one after being behind dang near the whole time. How about that? So we'll take our usual extended break between game one and game two. Ridgepoint is up one to none in this match against Tompkins, the team that eliminated them from the playoffs last year. And we'll be back on VitefortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. Okay, we're back. Ridgepoint trying to follow up nicely on a great comeback win in game one against Tompkins. And let's uh, give you some information. Well, I'm going to have to do that later. The reason is Suna Venkat, the amazing Suna Venkat, she can... She can work remotely to try and fix, fix our technical problems, you know, when, when she's not even present, when she's somewhere far away. So she kind of took something off the screen that I was going to tell you about. I just want to give you an idea of the volleyball that we'll be covering throughout the month of August. And then when we get to August 24th, which is a Thursday, our football coverage will begin again, and we're looking forward to that. We'll feature Clements in the first game. That'll be at Hall Stadium on Thursday the 24th, and Ridgepoint will be hosting Austin Westlake at Mercer Stadium on the 25th. And then on the 26th, it's Willow Ridge. That's a Saturday night game taking on Lamar Consolidated. Remember, you, we can always bring you action live and podcasted later on VibeFortBend.com. And this is one of those nights I don't think anybody's hearing it live. We're having technical problems. It's something about this Tompkins gym. I don't think I'm going to come in here anymore. 
nobody's fault. It's just uh, some things happen that way. All right, Lauren Battle is ready to serve and get game two underway. The right-hander jumps in the air and not a lot of power on that serve. Now Tompkins is going to try to return it, but it's a point, ridge point, as Kristen Cowart was denied at the net. The tall drink of water, Jaden Robinson, blocks it down, and ridge point is up one to nothing. Battle to serve again, spins it. It's a little deeper this time. Bumped up by Taylor Hines, and now the big swing and the winner by Kristen Cowart down the right baseline. Our right as we bring you the description from, let's see. Well, it's it's the end of the floor, and I'm trying to figure out which way we're. I guess we're at the west end. One to one is the score in game two. Ridge point one game one over Tompkins. Brooklyn Merrill serves. Matty Flores bumps it. And Ridgepoint almost saved it. Kenny DeRogers with a great effort. And she smashed into the vinyl padded wall down here in the Tompkins gym. Matty Flores didn't redirect it back the other way. It went farther past the baseline. Now Brooklyn Merrill serves again. Kenny Rogers bumps it. Lauren Battle sets it up for Carrington Cook. And it's an overspin, and it gets down between players. And we're tied at two. Ridge Point gets that one. Suna Venkat working feverishly behind the scenes to figure out what the ghost in the machine is here in our first attempted broadcast of August of 2023. Soraya Johnson serving for Ridge Point and saving one on a spike. And now Kennedy Rogers from out of bounds gets it over. Tompkins having a hard time returning it, but they do with Kristen Cowart. Now Ridge Point attacking Carrington Cook. She's blocked at the net. It comes back over. Now Maddie Flores setting it up for Kennedy Rogers. She taps it over, but Tompkins is there with the defense. And here come the Falcons again. It's a skirmish at the net. Now it's on the Tompkins side, and there is Dumas. Bumped up by Carrington Cook. Now, if you are to say, well, which one of these teams has the right to say they're tired? Well, possibly Tompkins because they lost, or I'm sorry, they won in five when they played Tom, uh, Dawson. Tompkins trying to fight off a game point, and they do. Aaliyah Smith just kind of whiffed on it. She just whiffed on it. And it, it fell. <laughs> It fell down and hit her in the nose, and it wasn't moving very fast, so she's okay. She's just embarrassed. Anyway, it's 24 to 18, and Tompkins still serving. And I forgot what thread I was going with. Here it comes. Kennedy Rogers, Taylor Jory, big swing. Taylor Johnson can't get it down, but now it's on the Ridge Point side again. Jory sets up Kennedy Rogers off the top of the net. Aaliyah Smith. And they thought it was one too many hits on the Ridge Point side. And that time it was. And Tompkins has fought off yet another game point. They've scored the last two. And Taylor Hines is going to serve. Simi Elliott shimmying in front of the net. But first, we're going to get a timeout. We'll be back. This is VibeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. Okay, we're back. It is 24 to 19, Ridge Point trying to finish off this game two. Taylor Jory sets it up for Jaden Robinson, and it is good. Ridge Point wins it 25 to 19, and they are one more game away from. Well, it, it's, it's not like it'll be a playoff win or anything, but it will avenge 
the playoff loss that they had against Tompkins back in November. We'll take a break and be back on VibeFortBend.com. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. And get Wi-Fi equipment included when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless bill in an auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at Get Great Gigs. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Okay, we are ready for game three in Ridgepoint. We'll try and finish off a sweep of the Tompkins Falcons. This is the first volleyball match broadcast of the year on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. We are going to go to Pass a Get Down Dina on Saturday, and we're going to cover Foster or Kempner or who was the other one? Now I can uh, put this thing up on my screen like I wanted to. Um, oh, that thing's gone now. All right, so um, let's see. I'll, I'll uh, well, I have time now because the players are standing around waiting for the officials uh, to give them the go-ahead. So in the Pasadena Memorial Tournament, it's going to feature, I don't want Microsoft Office right now. Uh, anyway, it's uh, going to be Foster, Kempner, and Clements all playing in the Pasadena Memorial Tournament, and it will depend upon what they do on, on Thursday as to uh, which team we're going to cover and at what time. But we're going to have volleyball action on Friday from Pasadena in the Pasadena Memorial High School Tournament. And since we're still standing around, I think I want to uh, give you information on, well, I see what's going on here. Um, 
Microsoft keeps telling me to sign up or do something like that, and every time I open up this schedule document, it goes away. It's really annoying. But I uh, just wanted to let you Ridgepoint Volleyball fans know that um, we will have your game against your match, I should say, against Fulshire on the 22nd of August. That's the next Ridgepoint Volleyball match that we will have on VibeFortMen.com. And to begin the third game, Tompkins gets the point on a block at the net by Emma L. Sasser. Not Emma, middle initial L. Sasser, but her last name is spelled E-L-S-A-S-S-E-R. Now Ridgepoint returns the favor. And it was a hard smash by Kennedy Rogers that was blocked sideways by Tompkins and were tied one to one. Ridgepoint after getting swept by Dawson would say it's good for the soul if they get a sweep win over Tompkins but I'm sure Tompkins has other ideas. And there is a Tompkins winner on a big swing by Kristen Cowart. She was blocked at the net by Soraya Johnson but it flew out of bounds. Substitution for Tompkins. Callie Funk comes in for Erica Deleski. And serving is Kaylin Dumas. The left-hander keeps her feet on the floor as she serves. And now there's a big swing by a, uh, Taylor Johnson. Tompkins returns it with the defense. Maddie Flores setting it up. Now Lauren Battle gets it to Kennedy Rogers. And what happened? We got a whistle. And the point goes to the Panthers. They lead it 3-1. to one. I am at an angle where I can't really tell what signal that the tall chair umpire or tall chair official is making. And here is the serve by Cameron Coleman. And now Tompkins finally gets it over. And Ridgepoint gets a big swing by Cameron Coleman. Correction, Taylor Johnson. The sophomore gets a winner. It's 4-1 to Ridgepoint. Here is Cameron Coleman's serve. Tompkins trying to get one down, and they do with Callie Funk. If you don't believe me, just listen. Callie Funk, she's pretty good. All of the football boys have gone home, and who can blame them? They had a tough workout in the blazing sun, referring to the Tompkins team. Catherine Grad ready to serve as soon as the officials say go for it. And the whistle means go for it. It is 3-3. Three to three. They made a correction on the scoreboard. But Kennedy Rogers puts Ridgepoint back on top. I think you heard that one. It sounded kind of like a, a blocked punt in a football game. Because it, uh, it did hit uh, Tompkins' flesh and bone on this side of the net. But it got down where it needed to for Ridgepoint. They lead it 4-3. to three. They get the serve back, and Taylor Jory is ready to let fly from the baseline. Aaliyah Smith is also into the match. She looks like she wants to block somebody. Catherine Grad. Now it is Sydney Lynch and the ball flies out of bounds near the Tompkins bench and it's another point to the Panthers and they lead it 5-3. to three. <laughs> And some laughing by Tompkins. Uh, Sydney Lynch, she's just plain uh, fell down as she was trying to save that ball in front of the bench. Even a graceful fall would not have saved it. Brooklyn Merrill now the big swing by Callie Funk, and the point for Tompkins. They get within five to four. And Simi Elliott is back in for Tompkins. She looks like she has a good time no matter what it is she's doing. I'll bet if you went home and she was washing the dishes, she would say she was enjoying herself. Tompkins wanted a double hit on Ridgepoint, but the Panthers aren't called for it. They get it back over the net. Now Callie Funk, big swing, blocked at the net. Ridgepoint keeps it off the floor. Now Kennedy Rogers tries to go cross court. Can't get it down as Dumas saves it. 
And now a little tap over by Sidney Lynch. Now Ridge Point has it again. And out. Point to Tompkins because Soraya Johnson fired it wide. Going to her right. And we're at 5-5. Five to five. Aileen Lang ready to serve from the center of the court. She leaps. And it is bumped up by Maddie Flores. Didn't get a lot of it. And it's just a bump over by Soraya Johnson. Now Tompkins attacks. Here they come. And it is Elliott with the bang down. And whose point is that? It's Ridge Point's point because it was out. Down at the far end of the floor. Kennedy Rogers steps to the baseline and she will serve for the Panthers who lead 6-5. to five. Tompkins was down in their early match to Dawson and came back to win in five sets, but they got a long hill to climb. Although, that will help for them. It's a serve into the net by Kennedy Rogers and the score is 6-6 six to six in game three. A must win for the Falcons. And Erica Daleski is going to serve. Just crawls over the top of the tape. Now Ridge Point to try and return it. Aaliyah Smith, miscommunication with her setter, and she didn't get to spike it, but Ridge Point does get another chance now. Taylor Jory, Jaden Robinson sends it back. She's blocked. Now Taylor Jory is going to set up for a winner by Taylor Johnson. I think, yeah. Seven to six, Ridge Point leads it. And the serve is too hot to handle for Sydney Lynch. Maddie Flores with a winner to make it eight to six. And she will serve again. This is one of those matches that uh, if you're listening to it on the podcast, we had all kind of technical problems and we couldn't get it to anyone live. Believe me, that's not going to happen more than once or twice this year, but it's good to get it out of the way. There's another, uh, there's a point for Tompkins as they make a block at the net and they get with an 8-7. to seven. But it's one of those matches where I'm going to look around and see what can I pack up before I actually, you know, head for the car. 8-7 to seven to Ridge Point. Now attacking Jaden Robinson. A little punch. You couldn't call it a spike. It was kind of a little punch attempt with the heel of her hand, but it went long. And it's a point to Tompkins, and we're even eight all. And there is Taylor Hines serving for Tompkins. And there is a little tap over attempt by Emery Harper of Ridge Point. And the ball is coming under my table. And I've got it. They don't know I've got it. And I tossed it back onto the floor. These girls have really good concentration. They don't know anyone's announcing this match. But it's a point to the Panthers, which I guess is what I should have told you a long time ago. It's 9-8. to eight. Lauren Battle serving. And they let it go, and it's out on the right sideline. To our right, Lauren Battle was serving from the far end. It's 9-9, nine to nine, and now Brooklyn Merrill will serve for Tompkins and... I know if I call enough Tompkins matches, I will inadvertently say Brooklyn Decker at some point. And there is a service winner by Brooklyn Merrill. And yes, her dad is the son of the man for whom the Leonard Merrill Center was named. That is Coach Allison Merrill's father-in-law. There's another service winner by Brooklyn Merrill, she served three straight points for the Falcons, and they lead it 11 to 9. Ridge Point had some great momentum, an opportunity to sweep, but Tompkins looks like uh, the Falcons have other ideas. Matty Flores bumps up the serve. Now there's a swing by Jaden Robinson, and she she gets it down past the block. And that gets Ridge Point within one. It's 11 to 10. And Soraya Johnson is going to serve. She and her attachments. Here it comes. Decker. I did it. Uh, Merrill bumps it up. Now it's on the Ridge Point side. Desperation back over the head. Soraya Johnson gets it over. Tompkins tries to get the winner and does with Kristen Cowart elevating and tapping it down. 
There may be something wrong with uh, one of the scoreboards because uh, people are looking at the one down at this end. Fortunately, the one that I am looking at is working. It's 12 to 10. Falcons on top, and there is a winner. Actually, it's long. Ridge Point attempting a spike, and now they're down 13 to 10. Kalen Dumas ready to serve. The lefty bumped up by Kennedy Rogers. Lauren Battle sends it back to Rogers, and she doesn't go with the power. She goes with the finesse. She gets it down, and Ridge Point is within two. It's 13 to 11. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. They're not a sponsor, but they should be. What are they? Bristol Myers, Procter and Gamble. I don't know. Emery Harper serving for Ridge Point, trailing by two in this third game. And there is a cross court shot. Kristen Cowart gets it down, rising gracefully above the court and swinging hard. It's now 14 to 11. And we're going to have a timeout, or are we? No, we're not. Now, Catherine Grad ready to serve for Tompkins. She sends it in. Ridgepoint let it go. They thought it was going to be long, but it had sinker ball action on it. And down it went. So Tompkins now leads 15 to 11. Timeout Ridgepoint. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. The first point coming out of the timeout goes to Ridge Point, and uh, here in Tompkins Gym, they'll put a minute on the scoreboard for the timeout, so I play a minute-long commercial, but they they say, let's just play on. And so that's why when we come back, we're already, uh, we have resumed the action when the commercial's not yet over. But I, I owe it to our great sponsors to play those commercials. Okay, Ridge Point down. 15 to 12 in game three against Tompkins, but if they win, Ridgepoint gets the sweep. And there is Cameron Coleman. She gets it to go down between blocking fingers at no, she doesn't. There's a violation on Ridgepoint, a double hit, I believe. Or maybe the, when the ball came off the block, it grazed her hand and then hit the floor on the Ridgepoint side. So it's 16 to 12, Tompkins trying to avoid the sweep. And now Aileen Lang ready to serve. There it goes. Bumped up by Flores. And now Kennedy Rogers tries to get it over, but Funk is there to pick it up. And there is a beautifully placed little drop shot on the left sideline down for Tompkins, and they get the point to go up 17-12. to 12. They look like they are determined to at least force a fourth game. In this match, sinker ball serves. Flores digs it out. Taylor Jory, Aaliyah Smith tries to get it over, but the point goes to Tompkins because they call Aaliyah Smith for a lift, and it's 18 to 12. Tompkins really rolling for the first time in this match. Up by six. I don't think they led by six during that first game where they led nearly the whole way. Here's a... Quick little tap over by Taylor Jory, but Tompkins can bring it back. Now Maddie Flores sets it up for Aaliyah Smith. She goes cross court. Great save by Tompkins. There's a big swing from Sydney Lynch and a winner for Tompkins. 
It rattled down between the arms that were attempting to block her. And now Tompkins leads by 7, 19 to 12. Ridgepoint wants a timeout. I better take it real quick. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireAndAuto.com. All right, we're back to live action. Ridgepoint trying to sweep in game three against Tompkins, but down by seven, make that down by six. A beautiful block by Aaliyah Smith. Sends it back over on the Tompkins side. So it is 19-13. Kennedy Rogers with the high toss, serves, big sinker ball. Grad gets it up in the air. Tompkins attacking. Callie Funk blocked at the net. And what happened? It's a ridge point point. They are now down 19 to 14. They'll continue the service with Kennedy Rogers. She's been very accurate with those high toss serves. But that one is long. I shouldn't have said that. Dang it. 20 to 14, Tompkins back on top, trying to avoid the sweep and get it to game four. Here's Erika Deleski, the Polish rifle. A mini leap as she bumps the, uh, sends the serve down the floor. Big swing by Jaden Robinson, but saved by Tompkins, and the Falcons will be fired up if they save this point. Jory sets up Aaliyah Smith, now Grad digs one out. Now there is the big swing by Dumas, and it is blocked out of bounds. Point to Tompkins. Jaden Robinson rose up to block it, but it went sideways off her forearms. And the lead is now 21 to 14. Deleski looking at her coach, but I think she can just throw whatever serve she wants. And Flores, it goes sideways off her fists. It's 22 to 14. Tompkins in really good shape to salvage game three and then see what they can do in game four. 22-14, Jaden Robinson, two-hander to get it back up, and she flies the spike over off the black, uh, off the block and down. And Ridgepoint gets a little closer. They're down 22 to 15. They would be just giddy if they could somehow overcome a seven point lead on Tompkins home court. Merrill bumps it up. Elliott is blocked down and it's a point to Tompkins. I think it might have been a lift by Ridge Point. 23 to 15. It would be very tough for Ridge Point to overcome this in game three. Taylor Hines is ready to deliver. Sends it deep. Kenny do Rogers bumps it up. Taylor Jory now sets it up for Jaden Robinson and finesse. Just a little tapper over the outstretched arms and it gets down for a point. Ridge Point gets within 23 to 17. I think the scoreboard says 23 to 16. I think they have 17. I guess I'm wrong. 23 to 16. And Lauren Battle serves. Nice serve. Tompkins having a hard time returning it. But Kristen Cowart comes up with it. A nice effort. The ball kind of found her. And she sent one sideways. And it is now game point for Tompkins. 24 to 16. They lead it. 
Ridge Point won the first game 25-23 and the second one 25-19. And it'll be Brooklyn Merrill to serve. She leaps and swings. Dug out by Maddie Flores. Oh, Ridge Point's going to have a hard time with this. They do get it over there. That was a miraculous shot by Lauren Battle. And Tompkins wins game three, 25 to 16. And we're still here, folks. Here's school tomorrow in Fort Bend ISD. And uh, I, I think the Ridge Point girls, no matter how this match comes out, are going to have a hard time waking up. We'll be back. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Tompkins fans doing the wave here. They're fired up because they won game three of this match with Ridge Point, 25-16. That avoids the sweep, and now the team switch ends. Ridge Point is down here closer to us. And to start this game three, they have on the floor Jaden Robinson, Lauren Battle, Kennedy Rogers, Soraya Johnson, and also Taylor Johnson. You got Carrington Cook and Maddie Flores standing there near the sideline. One of those two players will come in and make it a six-player lineup. Tompkins coming off a year in which they went all the way to the state championship match before losing to Dripping Springs. And what Dripping Springs did was really amazing to go from Class 5A to Class 6A and win a state championship in their first year. All right. The Panther girls don't look too bothered that they are going to be here for at least one more game, but they, I'm sure, would like to win that game and get on the bus. Well, this is one of the uh, most jam-packed parking lots and jam-packed gyms that I've seen 
for an early August volleyball match. So it was a high-quality affair with Dawson here. Dawson beat Ridgepoint but lost to Tompkins. Tompkins beat Dawson but is trailing Ridgepoint. And Ridgepoint lost to Dawson and uh, has a chance to redeem themselves with a big win over Tompkins. To begin this third game, Simi Elliott tries a spike and doesn't get it the first time, but when it comes back to her, she bangs it down. And so Tompkins is up, one to nothing. And Brooklyn Merrill is going to serve. Here it comes, comes in hot. Dug out by Kennedy Rogers. Now down the line, Jaden Robinson. She is blocked, or dug out rather. And there is a foul. A violation called on Tompkins, and the point goes to the Panthers. I think a lift on the part of the Katie Tompkins players. And there's a delay for some reason. Now Ridgepoint makes a substitution, and they send out Soraya Johnson. Slapping the ball and firing it from the middle of the baseline. Merrill sends it over and whiffing on it was Emma Elsasser. She just, uh, I don't know, I haven't seen a whiff that bad since uh, overtime in that Sweden-USA match, which I really, I just couldn't sleep. That's the only reason I was watching. Anyway, Kennedy Rogers gets one of those perfect overset bang down spikes, and it is three to one, Ridge Point on top. And it took a moment to retrieve the ball. And now Soraya Johnson is ready to serve again. I feel sorry for the ball. There it goes. Nice sinker ball. Tompkins, can they get it over? They do with Kristen Coward, and she not only gets it over, she gets a winner. And Coach Lauren Bailey was upset with the defense. They left a hole. And she steps out there, says a little something to Kennedy Rogers, but I'm sure Kennedy was not the only guilty party. All right, back set for Carrington Cook. Off the top of her fist, Tompkins saves it. Now Maddie Flores to Lauren Battle, now sideways to Kennedy Rogers, and the finesse has been working for her, and it works again. Ridge Point leads 4-2. to two. Maddie Flores comes out. Emery Harper comes in. And serving is Taylor Johnson. Tompkins with a hard time returning it. Little miscommunication. They do get it over, however. Now Lauren the battle. Back set for Carrington Cook. She's blocked at the net. A second try. Almost gets down, but Tompkins now controls. And it is Kristen Coward. Cannot get it down. And it is Kenny Rogers off of fingertips. It's still on the Tompkins side. They do get it over. And Rogers digs it out. Quick set. Lauren battle. Tompkins is ready, and they send it back. Kristen Coward blocked. And out of bounds. Point to Tompkins. A lot of velocity on it by Cowart. She plays a real power game, and it's 4-3. to three. Tompkins gets within one. Catherine Grad comes off the bench to serve for Tompkins, trailing 4-3, and a must win in this game four. Lauren Battle back set. Carrington Cook, power spike diagonally, but Tompkins sends it back. Now Callie Funk to the middle. Lauren Battle digs it out. Maddie Flores over to Kennedy Rogers, sends it to the right corner. Tompkins digs it out there. Callie Funk swings and it gets down. All right. <clears throat> it is five to three Ridge Point. And the, the Tompkins spike was just long, and it was very close, and that's why you heard all the screaming. And I had to retrieve the ball. Callie Funk with the spike. That one does get inside the baseline. A point for Tompkins, and they trail 5-4 to four now.
Coming off the bench, ready to serve is Aileen Lang. She spins it and gets the serve in the air. Kennedy Rogers bumps it. Jory. Now Aaliyah Smith gets it over. And the point to Ridge Point. Tompkins could not get it over the net. Six to four, the Panthers lead. Rogers right in front of our broadcast table. Tompkins fans trying to distract her, but oh, what a beautiful serve. Grad does get it up in the air, and the Panthers get the point as Emery Harper wins a battle at the net, and it's 7 to 4, Ridge Point. Rogers likes to run toward that baseline. And a lot of sinking action, and it's a clean ace down on the other side. Eight to four. Do that again. There were so many people in this gym earlier, a lot of them have had to go home. Rogers gets it down again. Tompkins to return. Callie Funk, big swing, blocked. Jaden Robinson said, in your face, and it goes down on the Tompkins side, and it's nine to four. Ridge Point looks like they're uh, determined to win game four, and there's gonna be a timeout taken by Tompkins. We'll be back. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. Mm. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity internet. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. Another Ridge Point point. Coming out of the commercial, 10 to 4, they lead it. Kennedy Rogers, I think, has the longest string of service winners that anybody on either side has had tonight. Can she improve on 10 to 4? High toss. There it goes, and this time it's long. She has, that was a good run, wasn't it? 10 to five. You know, if you had told Lauren Bailey that her team could have a 10-5 lead in game four with a chance to close it out a little early, she would have been happy and her team gets a point right there to get the serve right back. They lead it 11 to five. And now it'll be Emery Harper to serve. She gets it over, Merrill digs it out, and it's a swing by Sydney Lynch. Taylor Jory bumps it over for Ridge Point. Now Tompkins attacking, Callie Funk saved by Jory. Aaliyah Smith over to Jaden Robinson, and she, I thought she got it down, but Merrill must have saved it. Jory keeps it in the air on the Ridge Point side, and there is Aaliyah Smith dug out by Grad Tompkins. Not relenting, Jaden Robinson dives to the floor and digs it out, Aaliyah Smith sends it deep. Grad with two hands, gets it back up in the air. Kennedy Rogers digs it out. Now Jory, back to Rogers. Correction, Jaden Robinson, and she hits it into the net. Point to Tompkins. Jaden Robinson is out of breath. 11 to six is the score, Ridge Point leads, but Tompkins serving now with Taylor Hines. Here it comes, Jaden Robinson. I think she is tired and might need to get a breather. I think Carrington Cook is getting up off the bench to tell Coach Bailey that. 
The lead has shrunk to 11-7. And now, fortunately for Ridgepoint, there's an error in serving by Taylor Hines. She hits the red and white pole at the edge of the net. Lauren Battle comes off the bench to serve for Ridgepoint, leading 12-7 and trying to finish off a four-set win over Tompkins. And there is Kristen Cowart. She gets a winner as Kennedy Rogers and Maddie Flores were both going for the same ball, and they kind of bumped into each other. So Tompkins gets the point and gets within 12-8. Jaden Robinson digs it out, battle. Now Carrington Cook, it's over on the Tompkins side now. Kristen Cowart with the left hand, battle a great save, but she can't keep it in bounds. It's 12 to nine, Tompkins is creeping closer and we'll be back after this word from Archer Volkswagen. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Back to live action. Tompkins gets another point. They're within 12 to 11. Actually, they got two points during that mini break there. Ridgepoint had things going, and now they lead by only one, and Brooklyn Merrill seems to be heating up as she serves again. Here it comes to the middle. Kennedy Rogers dives. Lauren Battle serves it way over by the sideline, and her teammate Jaden Robinson thought it was going to be closer to the middle. So it falls to the floor, and Tompkins has drawn even, 12 to 12. Brooklyn Merrill ready. Here comes her serve. Coming in hot, Jaden Robinson gets it up there. Maddie Flores back to Robinson. And she gets a winner near the baseline. A diving Taylor Hines almost saved it. But Ridgepoint gets things going back the way they should be, leading 13 to 12. And off the bench comes Soraya Johnson to serve. There it goes, down in the middle. Merrill gets it up in the air. Kristen Coward almost gets a winner. Skirmish at the net, point goes to Tompkins. I think Ridgepoint touched the net. That was a violation and it's 13 all. The server is Lang. No, I'm sorry, it's uh, Kaylin Dumas and she gets a service winner and Tompkins leads game four, 14 to 13. Here comes the serve. Ridgepoint bumps it up, Lauren Battle sets up Carrington Cook, but Hines keeps it in the air. Correction, that was Funk who kept it in the air. Now Kennedy Rogers with a little dink and it works. Kennedy Rogers has a power game. She hasn't really been using the power game all that much tonight. She has been able to throw him the change up and make it work many times. And it's 14 all, Maddie Flores to serve for Ridgepoint. She serves it deep and it's off the fingertips out of bounds. Point to the Panthers and they lead it 15 to 14. It went off the fingertips of Taylor Hines. I think she, she believed that ball was going to start coming down, and it just never did. There is a deep serve. There's a big swing by Cowart. Ridgepoint does keep it in the air. Now Kennedy Rogers again goes with the drop shot. Does not work. And a winner for Tompkins as Cowart hits it off the forearms of Soraya Johnson, and we're tied again at 15.
Now here is Catherine Grad to serve for Tompkins. It's 15 all. She leaps and serves. It's bumped up by Ridgepoint. Lauren Battle back set for Carrington Cook. A powerful spike that is blocked, but blocked out of bounds. And the point to the Panthers. They lead 16-15. Taylor Jory and Aaliyah Smith come into the match. Lauren Battle and Carrington Cook go out. Ridgepoint would like to build a big lead again. 16-15. They're on top as Jory serves. Tompkins is going to send it back. Jory off two hands, then Flores. Now Kennedy Rogers tries to get a winner without jumping, and Tompkins hits it long. Emma L. Sasser, too much Dijon mustard on that one. And it's 17 to 15, Ridge Point on top is Taylor Jory. Serves again, Taylor Jory, what's your story? It's a deep serve, dug out by Tompkins. Big swing by Dulesky. But now it's on the Ridge Point side. Aaliyah Smith blocked at the net. And a miraculous save by Ridge Point. Grad sends it back for Tompkins. And now it's on the Ridge Point side. There is a big swing by Soraya Johnson. Tompkins sends that back. And now Maddie Flores is going to hit it back over her head and just bumped over by Aaliyah Smith. And now Tompkins attacks. And it's... Back on the ridge point side. This is like watching a pinball game. And Kennedy Rogers finally puts that one away. That was the point that seemed like it would never end. And it's 18 to 15 ridge point. Timeout. Tompkins will take it with them. Ridge point trying to finish it off so they can get on the bus. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. Taylor Jory continues serving for Ridge Point, leading in the fourth game of this match with Tompkins. It's 18 to 15. They're trying to finish it off. Grad digs out the serve. Now a little back set for Callie Funk. Ridge Point is able to return it. A little tap over by Jory, but Tompkins handles it. And now they do a tap over. And Ridge Point is guilty of a violation. I think a double hit. They still lead 18 16, but the service goes back to Tompkins. <clears throat> It'll be Aileen Lang serving for Tompkins. Her team really needs her to go on a service run. Rogers, Jory, and Emery Harper. And she's called for a lift or a carry, and the Ridgepoint fans do not like the call. They also do not like the fact that their lead is down to one, 18-17. There is Lang serving again. Jory. In desperation, gets it to Flores, who just bumps it over. Now Tompkins can attack. And there is Elliott. She gets one down. Pass to diving, Soraya Johnson. And it's 18 all. Coming out of the timeout, Tompkins has scored three straight with Lang serving. Actually, two straight with her serving, but three straight overall. Kennedy Rogers. A wide set. It was very awkward the way she had to reach back behind her head, and she hits the ball into the net. Now Ridgepoint trails again. It's 19-18, and Ridgepoint wants a timeout. We'll take it with them by FortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. 
Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttirenauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. All right, Tompkins leading 1918 and trying to send this to a fifth set. Serving Matty Flores, now Taylor Jory, and Kennedy Rogers gets the winner. She sent it very near the baseline, and now she's going to serve. It's 19 all. High in the air goes the toss, and she hits it into the net. Sometimes it's feast or famine, and maybe at the end of a long day where they're a lost uh, an earlier match and now they're playing one that's gone longer than they might have expected. 20 to 19, Tompkins leads, serving. Taylor Jory gets it to Jaden Robinson, but Tompkins has the defense. Merrill bumps it over, skirmish at the net. And Tompkins does get it over. Ridgepoint attacking again. Jory to Jaden Robinson. Cannot get it down. Tompkins now a big swing by Lynch, and it's blocked out of bounds by Ridgepoint. It's a two-point Tompkins lead, 21-19. to 19. Panthers had a quick little huddle. Now they get ready to receive the serve of Erica Daleski. Jory, quick little set over. Tompkins was able to keep it in the air. And then there's a wide spike attempt by Kaylin Dumas, and that was a break for the Panthers. She just missed it, missed it by a couple or three inches. And Ridgepoint gets within one. It's 21 to 20. And Soraya Johnson, correction, Emery Harper serves. Great job by Ridgepoint just getting it back over. Taylor Jory. And too many hits on the Ridgepoint side. Yep. And the point goes to Tompkins. They lead 22 to 20. If Tompkins can capture this game four, we will go to a game five that will only go to 15 points. Taylor Hines serving. Here it comes. Rogers digs it out. Jory now to Jaden Robinson. She's blocked at the net. Flores saves it. Now Rogers bumps it over. Now Tompkins attacks. Big swing. And it is down by Simi Elliott. It's 23 to 20. And timeout, Ridgepoint. We'll take it with him. We'll be back. First Tire and Automotive puts you first. Family owned and operated for over 25 years, helping drivers in Sugarland and Katy. Great back to school supplies on tires. Save $100 off four Michelin, Uni Royal, or BF Goodrich tires with purchase of road hazard and installation. And don't sweat it. Save on AC repair as much as $75 off, $750 in AC repairs. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. I actually meant to play an Xfinity spot, but I guess kind of like players who are looking a little tired out there, I'm I'm a little tired myself. <laughs> it's been a long day. 23 to 20, Tompkins leads and trying to finish off game four. There is a cross-court shot by Soraya Johnson. Can't get it down. Now Tompkins attacking again. Dumas can't get it down. Now Ridgepoint attacking. Merrill sets it up for Cowart, but Ridgepoint responds with the defense again. Big swing, Jaden Robinson. The sophomore can't get the kill that she wants. 
And now it is Jaden Robinson digging one. Now Jordy. Now Rodgers. And it's a point to the Panthers. They get within 23-21. to 21. They just persevered. Carrington Cook and Lauren Battle come back onto the floor. Taylor Jory gets out. And also Aaliyah Smith leaving the floor. Lauren Battle will serve. Wipes her right hand on the soles of each shoe. And there goes her serve deep to the left corner. Hines digs it out. Kristen Cowart is blocked, but it goes out of bounds. The point to the Tompkins Falcons, and they're within one point of capturing game four. And Brooklyn Merrill, the daughter of the head coach, will serve. It is after 9 p.m. Here comes that serve off the top of the net. Lauren Battle going to set it up. Kennedy Rogers tries to get one down, but Merrill is there. Now Tompkins with Cowart. Ridgepoint keeps it in the air, and Carrington Cook goes for a winner. Can't get it. Now Lauren Battle setting up Ridgepoint. Jaden Robinson with a beauty right inside the corner, and it makes it 24 to 22. Does Ridgepoint have a remarkable comeback in them? We shall see as Jaden Robinson goes out and Soraya Johnson is back in. Soraya will serve. More slaps than usual on the ball before she serves. Game point for Tompkins. Can Ridgepoint respond? They do keep it alive after a Kristen Cowart spike attempt. Now it's on the Tompkins side again. Cowart, big swing. It is blocked. It gets down. Tompkins wins game four. We are not going home yet, folks. This is ViteFortBend.com. Are you not entertained? Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. 
email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. All right. I don't know if you heard the tail end of that buzzer, but it's telling the teams to get back on the floor. And this is kind of unusual. Ridgepoint was in what is the near end of the court for us. And the two teams did not switch ends after that fourth game. They will be at the same end for game five as they were for game four. Ridge Point has on the floor at the moment Kennedy Rogers. Uh, Emery Harper. See, I can't tell the difference between Emery Harper and Soraya Johnson because of their, their big hair that covers up the number on the back of their jersey. But anyway, let me just tell you who's on the floor now because they just made a switch. Lauren Battle, Kennedy Rogers, Maddie Flores, Aaliyah Smith, Jaden Robinson, and someone standing in front of her that I can't see. All right. We are underway, going to 15 to win this match, and Ridge Point gets the first point. Beautiful block on the part of Taylor Johnson. She's the one that I could not see. One to nothing, Ridge Point. Panther girls looking very determined. Lauren Battle from the middle, fires it. Kind of a miss hit on the return, and it's another point to the Panthers. It kind of went sideways. Off the forearm of, I think it was Kalen Dumas. Lauren Battle ready to serve again with the Panthers leading 2 0. There it goes. Sends it pretty deep and it is out. Good judgment on the part of Taylor Hines. She was looking at it, looking, waited, got as much data as she could, and then it did go out. 2 to 1 Tompkins trails and they serve with Brooklyn Merrill. Rogers bumps it up. Lauren Bottle, Battle back set for Taylor Johnson, but she fires it long in the right corner at the far end. And we're at 2-2. Two to two. Remember, we're just going to 15. Merrill serves, and here it comes. Near sideline, Lauren Battle bumps it up. Kennedy Rogers, now Jaden Robinson, spike attempt and blocked out of bounds. Point to the Panthers, they lead 3-2. When Tompkins defeated Ridge Point in last year's playoffs, it did not go foul. It was over uh, in a stunningly abrupt way, put it that way. All right, there is Soraya Johnson serving. And there is a smash by Kristen Cowart, but Kennedy Rogers gets one over the net. Tompkins saves it. Cowart fires one to the deep middle. Now it's on the Tompkins side. Merrill is going to set it up for Dumas. And a beautiful save by Soraya. Kennedy Rogers gets one down in front of a diving Taylor Hines. And it's a 4-2 lead. Ridgepoint had a 2-0 lead in this fifth. And now they have the two-point lead back again at 4-2. And Soraya Johnson ready to fire away from the middle of the baseline. There it goes. Dug out by Hines. Now a little back set for Cowart. But Aaliyah Smith digs it out. Now Kennedy Rogers fires away and gets it down off the top of the net. And it rolled down with good overspin. Five to two. And Tompkins wants a timeout. We'll take it with him. We'll be back. VibeFortBend.com. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. And get Wi-Fi equipment included when you add Xfinity Mobile. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless bill and an auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity internet. 
After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. The timeout did not go as long as the scoreboard clock said it should. Coming out of the timeout, Tompkins gets the first point, and they trail 5-3. Lauren Battle setting it up for Leah Smith, and she gets blocked and off her fingertips, and that's a point to Tompkins. They get within 5-4. We're going to 15. This one has gone five sets, and Tompkins girls, they have to be tired. They needed five sets to beat Dawson in the first match of the day that started at about 3.30, I think. There is a big swing, Kennedy to Rogers. She is blocked, but it goes out of bounds, and the point goes to the Panthers. Six to four, they lead. Maddie Flores will now serve. Emery Harper is into the game for Ridge Point. Now Tompkins, Kristen Cowart taps one over, but Ridgepoint is ready. Matty Flores bumps it over. Now Tompkins will attack, but they fire it wide. Kristen Cowart missed the sideline on the left side. And it's 7-4 Ridgepoint. Matty Flores wants to serve again right now. She gets it in the air, sends it deep. Merrill digs it out. Here it comes back again. Cowart off fingertips, and it gets down with the overspin. Lauren Battle was heading for the ball and she didn't have her usual quickness, but I don't think anybody at the end of this long day has their usual quickness. Ridge Point girls have to go to school in the morning. Tompkins does not, school has not begun for them yet. Grad serving for Tompkins, which trails seven to five. Battle back set for Aaliyah Smith, tries to bump it over, but Merrill is there. Now a little back set for Callie Funk and in the corner, it is right on target. And that makes it a one-point game, 7-6. to six. Tompkins is down. This is game five. We're going to 15. Got to win by two. Grad serves. There it comes. Rogers will get it back. Big swing. Off hands at the net. In the air. Tompkins attacking. There is a big swing by Sidney Lynch, but Ridgepoint is there. Now Aaliyah Smith. She can't get it through the block. Both teams with great defense. Dug out by Battle. Now Maddie Flores and Aaliyah Smith tries to get it over all those stretched fingers. Now it is on Tompkins' side. They had a lift on the Tompkins' side, and they had too many hits anyway. And they trail 8-6, Ridge Point. Seven points away from perhaps winning in five. Taylor Jory will come off the bench and serve. She spins it and sends it over the net. Dug out by Grad. Here's a big swing by Lynch, but it is Kennedy Rogers who sends it back and now she taps it over. Back set for Lauren Battle, big swing, went for the left corner, but right there was Dumas. Tompkins sending it back. Joy way out of bounds, but she gets it back where it needs to be and bumped over by Soraya Johnson. Now Tompkins attacks again. Callie Funk can't get it down. Jory over to Rogers, stays on the floor while she bumps it to Merrill. Tompkins attacks again, and it's a winner for Sydney Lynch. She was blocked at the net, but it fell on the ridge point side, and Tompkins is back within one again. Think if this was a playoff match. I would be going insane, and I think everyone in the gym would. Wouldn't it be fun if a playoff match was like this between these two fine teams? Jory setting it up. Rogers, bang down spike, hit it deep between two defenders, and it's nine to seven to Ridge Point, and now Kennedy to Rogers will serve again. She likes to serve on the right side of the baseline, so she's right in front of us. Trying to expand on a 9-7 lead, going to 15, high toss, there it goes. Grad hits it way up into the rafters, and now it is Lynch who sends it over. Jory is gonna set it up for Jaden Robinson, and she gets the winner! Between Lynch and Merrill, and it's 10-7. Now Kennedy will serve again. High toss again. 
Coming in hot. Grad gets it up there. One hit gets it over the net. Now Jordy saves up. Jaden Robinson hits it long. She had a good idea there, but just put a little too much hot sauce on it. And it was about a foot beyond the baseline. Erica Deleski comes off the bench, and she will serve for Tompkins. The Falcons trail the Panthers 10-8. to Jaden Robinson in the air. Rogers back to Robinson, sends it to the right corner, and Merrill is there to get it in the air. Dumas tries to get it over, but Ridge Point's defense is there. There's a big swing by Emery Harper and right into the net. You got to be dry shaving me. And it's 10 to 9. Tompkins just won't go away. Here's the serve, left sideline. Jaden Robinson bumped it up to Jordy Robinson. Uh, Jordy. Jory. Now it is on the Tompkins side. Dug out by Jory. Lauren in battle on her feet while she sends it over. Here is the big swing by Dumas. Nice block there by Emery. And now it is Jaden Robinson, and it's blocked and goes out of bounds. Point to the Panthers. They lead it 11 to 9. Emery Harper will serve. Matty Flores goes out. Over the net it goes. Grad bumps it. Now it is Dumas with the bang down spike with the left hand. Again, it's a one point game. Ridge Point leading 11 to 10. And the server is Taylor Hines. She sends it to Rogers. Now Jory. Now a big swing. Does not get down for Ridge Point. Jory digs one out. Now it's Flores to Lauren in battle. Cannot really get the power on it. Tip at the net. Rogers, Jory just tried to bump it over and find an open spot. Now Tompkins slams away. Jory gets it in the air, and it's over by Jaden Robinson, and they call a lift on her. And it was out anyway. We are tied at 11. And it's 9.19 p.m. I wish I had written down when this match started. 11-11. Into the game is Cameron Coleman for Ridge Point. Jaden Robinson goes cross court and hits it out of bounds. And now Tompkins leads 12-11. Brooklyn Merrill sends it to Hines, who will serve again, but not before a Ridge timeout. A Ridge Point timeout. We'll be back. Watch parties aren't what they used to be. Welcome to today's matinee. Ever since we got Xfinity, my little sister and her friends can easily stream all their favorite stuff. We'll start with two episodes of Top Chef, then Chopped. When I was a kid, we'd worry about buffering. Now they just worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Enjoy these fine meats and cheeses. These are just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese. Indeed. The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through September 6th, get gig internet on the Xfinity 10G network made for streaming for $30 a month for two years with no annual contract. Plus, add now TV for just $20 a month. Go to Xfinity.com slash 10G, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service. Actual speeds vary. Stream Top Chef on Peacock. Tompkins got the point coming out of the uh, abbreviated timeout, and they lead 13 to 11. Hines serves. Flores, Jory, big swing, and it's a point to Tompkins. Blocked at the net was Taylor Johnson, and it's 14 to 11. Ridge Point has got to somehow save three straight match points. And if they can't, this will be a very disappointing loss. Taylor Hines serves. Way back past the baseline. Now Rogers just back over her head. Now Merrill sets it up. And a point to Topkins, and the Falcons win it. 15 to 11 in the fifth. 
That was a thriller, but it didn't go the Panthers' way. The technical situation didn't go our way, but we thank you for listening to this podcast. I'm Roger Smith for Suna Venkat, Les Clary, Merle Bertrand, and everyone at VibeFortBend.com. Thank you for being with us. And we will talk to you on Saturday from Pasadena with volleyball featuring Foster, Kempner, and or Clements. Good night, everybody, from Falcon Landing. <laughs>